Diego State blown out by New Mexico at the pit. Obviously, last year, Lamont had that last-second buzzer-beater shot to beat New Mexico and shut that crowd up. But today, that crowd ended up being very loud, and they got to be very happy there um, for you know the whole second half, essentially. It was, it was a game where it's like, wow, San Diego State, they are showing up. They wanted to shut up the crowd. They're up by double digits, and then there was nothing. It, it was all New Mexico. Big run there at the end of the half. 17-2 run, I believe, is what it was. They got it close. They took the lead. And then there was another huge run by New Mexico, and San Diego State just could not make shots. It was, I mean, Jane Ledee did not look like Jane Ledee. And you got to give credit to New Mexico for that because Ledee has been the best player in the Mountain West this season. But New Mexico went in with a game plan. They said, we're going to send like three, four guys at Ladee. We're going to be super physical. And credit to New Mexico. I mean, they were on it. They were on San Diego State. Press, Jalen House. I mean, that's a guy that I hate um, playing against. But I feel like that's someone that you'd love if he was on your team. So obviously I know that I, I know why New Mexico fans seemingly love Jalen House. But I mean, he's a huge ball of energy. And at the end there, obviously, he and Micah Parrish, they got into it. Parrish kind of with the shove there. The refs were part of the story, but when you get blown out, I'm not going to be blaming it on the refs. It's like if the Padres lose 10-0 to the Dodgers, I'm not going to blame it on, oh, the umpires didn't have a good strike zone, and then it led to home runs. Well, you got to execute better. And with San Diego State, they have to make more shots. The offense just had to be better today. The defense had to be better today. There were some wide, wide open shots in New Mexico they shot way better than San Diego State did, it seemed like, when they obviously when they were going on those runs, right? Like if you look at the box score, I think the shooting's gonna be at least the, the field goal percentage, it's gonna be closer than at least I was expecting when I was gonna look at the box score at the end of this game. But when they went on runs, San Diego State, they were missing all their shots and New Mexico was draining everything. I mean, Mashburn Jr., House, Toppin had a pretty good game as well. Like Ladee was the one guy that scored 15 points, and New Mexico had three guys that did that. So, again, you got to give credit, tip your cap to New Mexico for what they did today defensively and being super, super aggressive. And they played like they had nothing to lose and all to gain. Um, they were 13-3, and three, though. So I, I don't know how bad of a loss this is going to look for San Diego State. Like, it's on the road. The pit was had their highest attendance in a long time, like over 15,000 people were there at this game. And a big reason for that was because of the opponent, San Diego State. It's not like it was San Jose State and New Mexico playing. Um, so it was a tough road environment, just like the other losses. At BYU, who was ranked shortly thereafter. At Grand Canyon, one of the toughest environments on the road to be in in the country at New Mexico like this. When New Mexico was shooting that well in that environment, and it seemed like a lot of the calls were going their way as well, what team, like how many teams in the country were gonna go beat New Mexico today? So it's it's a little bit of everything, you know? The refs, questionable calls. San Diego State, not playing good enough, turning the ball over. I mean, New Mexico's defense being aggressive, getting to be, you know, playing this game at home, obviously. We'll see how San Diego State does against New Mexico. Um, I believe when they play later this year at Viejas. Um, but yeah, it was not San Diego State's day, and I think we knew that it was not San Diego State's day. I, hesit I mean, I hesitate to say during that first run because runs happen in, in basketball. But definitely when that second run started and it's like okay yeah San Diego State they're in trouble here and House was making threes and making great passes and Moshburn was like not missing shots Ladee was missing a bunch of shots um, you had you know technicals and a couple free throws and they don't make both where while well, New Mexico makes both you know the free throws was a big difference especially in the first half um, so, yeah, it was just a, a combination of things. just was not San Diego State's day. But the good news was this was not a home loss. It was on the road against – and this New Mexico team, it's not like they were 8-6. and six. They were 13-3 and three going in. So I don't know how, fall, how far San Diego State's going to fall. 
you know, people will say, oh, it's an upset because San Diego State's ranked, New Mexico's not, but uh, New Mexico was a favorite. They were, I think, a four-point favorite in this game. So technically, it wasn't an upset, but it was an upset when you look at so San Diego State. They're the better team. They're ranked. New Mexico was not. But yeah, I mean, New Mexico, it was a really good performance today, and we'll see what San Diego State can do when they come home now. Uh, I believe Nevada, and then they're back on the road. CBS, they continue to show these San Diego State games, and they're earning the respect there with CBS. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll, see. we'll see what happens this week. It wasn't their day for sure.